Hi, I'm Jim Anderson, Director of Content at Engineering.com. I'm with Al Boland. He's Vice President General Manager of Mazak Optonics. And Al, we're looking at something significantly different in laser cutting and tube laser in particular. Yeah, we're really excited. Uh, we featured this machine for the first time here at Fabtech Chicago. Um, this is a generation of machine that we currently build at our factory here in Florence, Kentucky, uh, not too far from Chicagoland. Um, our friends over in Kentucky uh, build a version of this machine as a machine tool with a spindle and a tool changer machining center. And what we've done is taken this platform, which is a highly precise motion system, and mounted a laser system to it. Basically combine the ultra high accuracy of a machining center with laser power. Now, uh, if it's based on the chassis of machine tool, and machine tool, of course, we're thinking that extreme precision repeatability, significantly greater than we would imagine in a fabricating application. Right. Is there some commonality in the machine controls or the uh, uh, the interface with the equipment? Yeah, exactly. Uh, it, again, we don't want to reinvent the wheel. We want to use a lot of the knowledge that we have in drive systems. So we've incorporated the same motion unit, drive systems, and feed systems as we do in, in the machining center. On the control side, we have upgraded the control. This is a Fanuc 30i control. And what that does for us is allows us to do more 3D ge geometry and laser cutting. And that involves a lot of axis movement and chuck uh, orientation that the power of this control really helps us in that regard. Now, and you mentioned that uh, the, the control commonality, uh, energy efficiency, if I'm looking at this Mazak FX control here, it looks similar in layout to, to Mazak machine tool controls Absolutely. the same way. We know on the machine tool side, our connectivity and advanced connectivity currently, that's the, that's the leading edge. And will we see similar connectivity on the laser side? Yep, uh, that was something we felt was very important. Uh, again, on our Mazak machining centers, they all incorporate MT Connect technology. These machines here at the show, including the new VCL, also have MT Connect, where we have online, real-time productivity metrics that are being reported. We can do that through a mobile app, we can do that through the company's network, and we can show what the machine is cutting, how long it's been cutting, and again, set up uh, a, an analysis of how much productivity we're getting from the machine every hour of the day. Now, Al, for years, lasers have been sold like horsepower in cars. It's always been about power, how many kilowatts. We have, we have four kilowatts, we have five kilowatts, we have six kilowatts, I think. What's your opinion about this notion of thinking about lasers strictly in terms of power output? Right. Uh, I think we all uh, get stuck on power, and, and we, we want to uh, certainly leverage the advantages of power. But again, what we're learning with both fiber and direct dial lasers is that we can develop cutting techniques, cutting head technology, these kinds of things that leverage lower power levels to get similar cutting performance that we used to be accustomed to higher power levels. However, I go back to visibility. Power is important, cutting fast is important, but there are often times where the machine is not running on the shop floor and it has nothing to do with power. It has to do with, are my programs ready or, or, or some other variable on the shop floor that's restricting the machine from running. And having this connectivity that we talked about, this MT Connect platform, we can really report more data to the end user about why it is this machine is either running or not running. And I think that is much more intelligent way to get more hours per day of cutting than simply higher speeds, higher power. Connectivity and energy efficiency for productivity at Mazak Optonics.